Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So again, I want to continue my high seas simulation for creating CO2 properties. Now I can right click, create system analysis, property table, design. Now my temperature of interest is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I already calculated, go to performance, and it's like this. So this will be my bottom hole injection temperature, 120, more or less 120. So I set only one temperature, okay? To get better visualization, not to crowd it, right? Not to busy the plot. And I put a big range of pressure from 14.5, 3000 plot view plot it's like this okay later i want to show you the plot and the correlation that i can generate from here so i will close i can copy the table but let's say i want to get kilogram per meter cube i can close and change the Go to unit settings, mass density, you see here, the mass density. I can double click and here I get the unit converter. So 6.243 times 10 to the power of minus two to be kilogram per meter cube. So I can copy. And then from here, I will go to my spreadsheet. Okay, so we move to Excel spreadsheet. I've copied the result from HiSys and pasted it here. Here we have temperature, pressure, the phase, and the mass density. And then I can I also have unit converter here, like this, to be kilogram per meter cube. So I can get kilogram per meter cube. Okay. By calculating them with this one. It's quite easy or I should put F4 here. Okay. Okay, so this is the mass density in kilogram per meter cube. I can as well change it to, yeah, I think it's better. So I can plot, select data. For example, this one will be pressure independent variable and the dependent variable at constant temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit, it is the, the mass density. It's like this, all right? Okay. And then I can generate, for example, a trend line, polynomial, exponential, cannot, linear, of course, cannot, logarithmic, no, polynomial. Let's see what we can do. This one will be starting from zero. Okay, and I want to change the trend line to red color, make it even bold. I want to show the correlation for my trend line, display R squared, 
display equation display r squared which is very good the r squared so this is the correlation correlating mass density in kilogram per meter cube as a function of pressure pressure in psia at 120 degrees fahrenheit constant temperature okay and then font i can change it to 12 we can erase the lines the r squared is very good so i can use this one okay here if i get the embal result for example i know the flowing bottom hole pressure i get the pressure and i know the temperature so i can get i can calculate for example the mass density here mass density as a function of pressure flowing bottom hole pressure i can get the result i can calculate the mass density using this correlation okay but one last important thing is actually whether or not this kilogram per meter cube is correct okay is this mass density is correct for the co2 and that will be the question but by the way regarding the workflow the thought process okay you you hopefully you can get the in, important message from the video and from here i will check again the mass density because i think the mass density should be greater than this okay the mass density should be greater than this so i that will be my homework i will check again the mass density Okay, so yeah, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next ISIS videos. Thank you.